are right there, so. I'm literally right there. Yeah, I know you're right there. Oh, hey guys, welcome back to another video. Just smiling because we're in um, a place called Bulls. It's, there's bulls everywhere. Not real bulls, fake bulls, but statues of old bulls. It's really cool. And holy crap, look what's going on there. Big crane thing. And um, there are heaps of kids out there getting trucks to toot and stuff and cars. We're having a good laugh with them. But we're two hours away from Wellington. We've been having plenty of stops. We've got our coffee hit. Um, we kind of did a bit of a change around in plans. So I was trying to figure out coming down to Wellington and getting on the um, getting on to the um, ferry, the time limit and stuff we had. I didn't I didn't like the idea of it. I didn't want to get a bit three o'clock and then travel and do this so we've already left today's thursday not friday and we're going to wellington for the night and we're actually staying in wellington at a hotel i'll put some videos up later on when we get there of the hotel motel hotel whatever it is down by the water not right by the water but pretty close so then tonight we can stay there after a long day of driving and then hop on the ferry tomorrow and go across to plicton and stay there so tomorrow will be a bit of a, a lot easier day than today so we thought we'd do it that way and break the trip up over like three days. Cool cranes there. What are they doing? Um, but one thing to note that, um, oh, oh, before I get onto that, we have we had one checkpoint. So we had a checkpoint in Wairu, Wai, Wai Wuru, Wai Wai Uru. Sorry, I can't say it very well. Uh, where the army base is and the army. Yellow car. Yellow car. Yellow car. <laughs> Uh, where the <laughs> um, oh, I completely forgot what I was going to say. Sorry. Um, the army museum is. There was a police check there, and um, they asked what we were doing, where we were going, to show them our emails, and paperwork on the phone, and they were like, "Take off you go." So I was, I was nervous. I was still nervous, even though I knew I was allowed to travel. It's still nerve wracking coming up to those places. But they, they were fine. I had all the paperwork. So I've done that. Uh, beef is there, but one thing I wanted to let everyone know, which we're finding very strange, and we don't understand the rules around it, and it's actually quite hard, especially when you've got this much traffic to do, is public toilets are closed. Sorry, 99% of public toilets are closed, and 85% of gas stations' toilets are closed. Some gas stations will let you use toilets, some won't. So when you're driving this distance, and there's three people in the car and you're drinking coffee and coke and whatever you're drinking and you need to go to the toilet you've literally got to go when you find one that's open because it could be another two hours four three hours before you find another one so that's something i didn't think about when i was planning our trip is toilets so i just assumed that it's a public right to go to the toilet in a rest area like at a, where, where the toilets are but they will chain up and locked We've just used what well, that was one then, eh? Yeah, but the only one that was open was the disabled toilet. The disabled toilet. The other ones. There was only one toilet that was open that the actual men and the women were shut. So, one toilet where I don't know how many people are going there a lot. per day and they're not getting cleaned every no. second. Or oh, anything we went like to that. one toilet, the first toilet we went to. So, I mean, the, hello. The, I know, the first time we went to, just out of, between Taupo and Tūrangi, mm, that toilet hasn't been cleaned for some time, and it was... It's probably even way before COVID. Probably even before COVID, <laughs> but you got to go, you got to go, eh? Yeah, but exactly. that's one thing I hadn't thought about. Um, I'll turn you around, we're now at... This is Samson. This is Samson. 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 I don't know, I can't say it either. Um, we have been... Uh, we've been we've been very lucky with the weather we're having. It's really sunny. Um, by the looks of the weather forecast, all the way down from well, here. Right. Sorry, Ooh. sorry. <laughs> oh, another police check. I'm going to have to go, guys. I'll come back with you very shortly. All right, guys. Sorry about that. We just went through another checkpoint. That's number two for today. <coughs> I must admit. I must admit. We'll turn you back to us. I must admit that the two checkpoints that we have been through today, the cops have been absolutely wonderful to deal with. Like really, they haven't been, they've been really nice. That was the lady that just said, are we off to? We said, Wellington, Picton, Dunedin back home. 
He's like, oh, are you going to catch a ferry? We're like, yep. He's like, oh, good luck. Most people being turned around, but we've actually got a booking. We've actually, this is why you book and do all the paperwork so you don't get turned around. Yeah. But um, that's all good. We've just passed our second checkpoint. Um, you wouldn't want to travel without paperwork, guys. <laughs> you wouldn't get far. Nah. So that's good. You get all the way down there and then you get told, no, we can't take you on the ferry. Can we take, we can you take us our uh, level two? Yeah, that would that, be, I don't know. Yeah, that would be horrific. <laughs> we all fall. But, yep, so we're through that checkpoint as well. About an hour and 45 minutes from Wellington. So we'll catch up with you when we're in Wellington and we're actually found where we're going to stay. We've got a booking but we've got to find the place of GPS and all that nonsense. So we'll catch up with you down there. So we've just come out of Bulls. Yeah. No, Sanson. Sanson. And another police check right across the road. I must admit, both cops have been, all the cops today have been really good. Um, really nice. Um, she said, where are you going? I said, Wellington, Picton, Dunedin. And she said, oh, good luck with that. Everyone's getting turned around on the boats. And I went, oh, hey, not us. us. She's like, have you got a booking? And I was like, yeah, do you want to see it? She's like, no, you're fine. But it gave me a bit of a heart tremor because she said, everyone's going down there to go on the ferry is being turned around. But we actually have a pre-booking for it. So, thank God. <laughs> okay, so we've made it to Wellington. Um... <laughs> You will understand this in a minute, guys. You know Jonesy's a little bit not so flash. When I was booking a motel for Wellington, all I did was I thought to myself, I want to be close to where the ferry is, like five minutes away, and I literally just went, vroom, book. I didn't know what I was booking. Let me show you what I've booked. Oh, that was just after the guy came down to do valet parking for the car. So just bathroom, you know, normal bathroom, bathroom, and me, toilet. Got a little kitchenette area here. Um, I did book a room just for, I mean, the, both of us, I mean, me and mum and Sophie in one room, because it doesn't really matter. We'll shut the glasses so we're not going to No, you don't. <laughs> um, TV on the wall, but look at this. Here we go. This is where we are on the 12th floor I mean come on people like come on and I can't zoom in for for some reason for my phone now I guess I can but if you have a look at what I can see there's the beehive where, where am I pointing right there where my finger is there's the beehive so we're literally looking over the beehive as well but yep that is our room for the night. We've had our car, I'll turn you back around. We've had our car valet parked for us. Well, not really, like they valet park, but we have to, it's a bit of a weird situation. The only thing I don't like about this building is we're on the 12th floor. I didn't book, but I just, hang on, I must move my hand guys, sorry. I didn't book a 12th floor, I just booked a room. Um, but because where we are, there's no windows or doors, so I have to go, to, I have to go down 12 floors to have a smoke. That's a little bit, uh. but let me get back to the story of what's going on now, because nothing's ever easy with us. Oh, I'm just gonna sit there. Me, 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 me. Ah. So we had a booking for tomorrow at 11:30. We were 15 minutes out of Wellington, and we got a call from Bluebridge saying, "Apologies, we've actually cancelled your booking due to maintenance on the boat." We freaked out. We thought, man, we, what's going on? How are we going to get across to Picton? Da, 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 da. Anyway, did we got hold of them and they've just rechanged our booking for the morning at 7.15. Oh, nice so very lucky, Lily, very lucky that we got here tonight because now we have to get up at half past five, six o'clock to get to the ferry because we have to be at the ferry an hour prior to leaving. Yeah. So that was a heart attack moment. But yeah, so that's where we are. That's what we're doing. And then I'm going to have a cup of coffee and hopefully we can all go for a walk around in not town. Yet, not, yet. not yet. <laughs> uh, hopefully we can go for a walk around soon and have a little look and get some dinner and um, look around and see what there is. And um, then, um, yeah, on the ferry tomorrow to Picton. But um, I'll show you for uh, I'll show you a little bit around when we go out for a wander. Uh. So here we are along the Wellington waterfront and if you look to that big building 
right there, ridges, that's where we were staying. <coughs> it's a shame that it's not like level one or something, so we could all just we could go and get a nice meal somewhere. We're just gonna find something that we can get, some takeout food. But it feels very different being down here than on the farm. <laughs> it's totally different. And if you have a look in that building there, the green building with the white around it, that's where we went when we came down to Wellington to Ariel's mum's wedding. That's the do, where we had the do. Alright. We're literally just walking around the city. This is the sea beat, well, the, the main street area of it. And uh, we're looking for something to go and get to eat. Or we'll have to order room service and get a burger or something. I reckon. Me and Debbie are just buzzing. Like, we're not used to cities at all. I do quite like it. I like all the noise and the traffic. It's really weird. I know. When you go up to it, Sophie. Sophie, when you go up to it, it just goes bing for you every time. It's really cool. Oh, we found it. Not that I was looking for it. Beehive. That's a, quite a cool looking building actually. guys uh, 10 to 5 in the morning we have to be at the ferry terminal at 7 so I don't know I think you get used to getting up and milking and getting cows in and stuff and I'm wide awake so I thought I'd leave Debbie and Sophie to back at the room and I'd come down and go for a stroll on the waterfront and it's you know what it's actually really really relaxing no one's out in uh, our motel room is way over there it's about a half an hour walk but I've thoroughly enjoyed it you know get out in the morning or sometime on your own and go for a stroll with your own thoughts I was thinking about it you know like this is my last morning ever in the North Island I spent 49 years in the North Island <laughs> It's scary because we're going to the unknown. Like, like obviously we know where we're going to and our sun and everything, but it's the unknown of our future. And I was worried about it. I don't know. Just seemed to have seemed to have woken up this morning with a lot of stress lifted. And what will be will be. And if we go every day worrying about what the next day's gonna be. We're going to miss out on the good things that happened that day, if you know what I mean. You know how, do you know it's kind of what I mean? Like, if you worry about tomorrow, today, you'll never enjoy today and what it can bring. So I've decided to just let it go. I mean, yes, I'm worried, but, you know, just let it go and enjoy every day. Not worry too much about everything. All right. I will head back to the um, hotel and start organising our morning to get ready to get down to the uh, ferry terminal. See you guys down at the ferry terminal. Morning everyone. It is, it is, let me see what it is, let me see what it is. Bloody early. Bloody early. Quarter to six. Ten to six? Quarter to six. Ten to six. <coughs> um, we have about an hour before we have to be in line for the boat. So we just... We've been up since four. We've been up since, not three o'clock. Yeah. Been up since four, but we've been laying in bed talking and stuff because me and mum aren't used to being laying there and Sophie laying there. And Sophie was like, oh my God, mum, how do you... Oh, that how, that's one of the worst nights here. <laughs> I got like no sleep. Because she thinks that dad's like a freak. Dad is, dad is. He's so bad. What, well, snoring? Yeah. It's like when I scream and you tell me to shush, you should hear you when you're snoring. 
It looked really bad. It's really bad. And then it's mum really does, bad. You're like a freight train man. I'm like a freight train. And then mum goes, <laughs> Yeah, it's weird. <laughs> yeah, both are different, complete things. And then yours just come out of nowhere because then you can just stop and then randomly, <laughs> 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 That's what it happens. That's what happens. It's <laughs> totally good. So, much louder than that. Like... There we go. I snore like a freight train. But you know what? I got an all right sleep. So, hey. Yeah, I went to sleep before. They were still watching TV. I just fell asleep on the bed. I was naked. But anyway. So that's our life of sleeping for the day. Yeah. Right, we're going to get organised and head down to the boat. There's our uh, ferry pulling in now. She's a big, big deal, that thing, isn't it? Wow, we. Wow, we're gonna be on that soon. Go guys, I just thought I'd chuck you on just to show you the view of us hopping onto the ship. If you can hear some beeping in the background shortly, it's just because I haven't got my seatbelt on, so it's just the noise you can hear. <coughs> thought I'd show you the process because we don't know it either. Okay, I better put it on, it's just gonna keep beeping. Oh no, it doesn't matter because you haven't got yours on either, huh? No, I haven't got mine on. Okay. So we don't know what we're doing either guys, so just bear with us. Do you want to do a little snap for the for Ryan and Ariel? Here we go. Onto the ship. This is the ship, just about to board it now. Just keep following them. Just keep following them around. Stop there guys, I'll come back to you when we get up. I've just got to hop out of the car and do all our stuff now. So on top of the ship, this is a, the viewing platform. North Island. <coughs> we are on the boat. The boat is just turning and leaving its dock and we're heading to Picton, the South Island. And we have got an 
absolute beautiful day to travel. Look at it. See you later, North Island. coming off the Cook Strait <coughs> and um, we're in the Seons now absolutely stunning I mean this camera does not do justice to how it's looking for us out through there is where we came in to this Cook Strait and then into here and we have to go all the way sort of way down there and way around stunning